It starts here and ends up here. But on its way to elimination, some food waste is becoming energy. That's waste. Chris Rufflishauser hates waste, especially at the Ridgewood Water Treatment Plant. That's methane. That's going up to the sky. It's not doing anything. So we thought long and hard on how we can capture it, give it another reuse, rather than just flaring it off, because methane is a greenhouse gas. Chris is Ridgewood's public works director. Bob Gillow is the plant supervisor. And together, they devised a plan to make waste profitable. It's basically a restaurant grease that we added. We were already putting municipal sewage, mm -hmm. and that the digester produces methane gas already, but the grease helps produce more. Of course, one is tempted to wonder if they're putting cooking oil into what is normally a rather smelly procedure, do things smell better? Not really. It's terrible. <laughs> but it's quite appealing to the private partners that Ridgewood has attracted. They fronted all the capital monies for the engine, the gas cleaning system, uh, box storage tanks, and all that. Now they're producing up to 240 kilowatts at a time, enough to power the plant at discount prices. We get it at about 12 cents a kilowatt hour. As which opposed is, to what would it cost you? We usually run around 14, 15, 16 cents a kW. They also sell excess power back to the grid, with gas getting a boost from the sun. This location is one of four in the village. What we did is we have solar panels behind us, also at Village Hall, our fire headquarters, and EMS building. Similar operations are underway at bigger plants around the state, but Ridgewood could be the model for many municipalities. We do do a lot of tours. Um, our partners in this, NSU, does bring other sewage plant operators here to see how we set it up here. And Chris says this public-private partnership means that Ridgewood taxpayers are burning up fewer dollars while reducing greenhouse gases. For NJTV News, I'm Mike Schneider.